Welcome to Creator You. All right, so in this video, I want to show you how to do research for YouTube Shorts. Now, YouTube Shorts are the hot thing up and coming with YouTube. They're trying to compete with TikTok. They're trying to take over um, that short content game. So there are a few ways to do some research on shorts pertaining to your market. All right, so we will continue. Let's stay in the dog training industry. Now, the reason why research on shorts is different is because look at this. We search a basic keyword here and very little shorts pop up. So long form content, at least as of now, seems to dominate the search. Now, I'm not sure if that will continue, but, um, and I'm not sure if it's different if you're searching on mobile, which it might be, uh, but we only see one short that pops up in the, in this, in the search area. But we're gonna open that anyway. So let's do how to train your dog. Let's see if there's any shorts that pop up. So we're we're just trying to find shorts. Okay, boom. 9.6 million views. Pretty crazy for that short. So you can see shorts are popping up a little more. And I predict over time this will just become a short-based platform. I mean, TikTok figured out the hack. It's how they grew so quickly. And I know YouTube. Their bread and butter is the long form content, but they know they have to get in the short game and they have to push shorts because TikTok grew for a reason, right? And I do believe the government is pushing hard. They're coming down hard on TikTok. They just introduced a, a bill to ban TikTok, which kind of sucks for me because I have over 500,000 followers on TikTok and I'm going to still go hard on TikTok until the very last day if they ever decide to ban it. I don't know if they will. But long story short, somebody's going to have to come in and soak up that market of TikTok when, if TikTok gets banned, all right? So that's going to be YouTube. I mean, YouTube is the best platform. Um, we do have Instagram Reels and Facebook Reels, but nobody's really using those as much as they're using Shorts and TikTok. So if TikTok goes out the way, all those people will probably come to YouTube Shorts. And... You know, this is your opportunity to kind of get in before that, it, especially as YouTube is going more short. And, you know, I won't waste too much of your time talking about this. I kind of have a love and hate relationship with shorts. But um, let's get into some short content research. So here we have this company or this guy right here. So I'm going to open his channel. Now shorts are different um, than like clicking a regular video because if you notice, if I scroll down here and see shorts, YouTube is just recommending different shorts. It has nothing to do with um, this video here. So I'm not really sure the exact algorithm for shorts. It's just YouTube just serves people what they think will keep them on the platform. Um but at least we can kind of get an idea of what works in this industry. And we can also research same process as we did before, search some keywords, search some channels, the best channels in this industry, and then kind of search their shorts and see what they're doing. So we have here, um, these are some of the other shorts I looked up, but let's go to this dog training 101. The, the channel that popped up first for dog training or how to train a dog. And then let's see what shorts they've been uploading. Um, and just all we're doing here is we're trying to find some shorts that might have gotten some good traction. So if you only teach your dog one thing, it should be this. So that's a good little idea. But you can see short content. The headlining is completely different. It's a whole different market. 
So you'll want to approach it a little bit differently than you would for the long form content. And the only way you can do that is by also studying what's working for shorts. So best dog walking advice. Great topic. Great idea here. You can see this one outperformed most of the other ones. Dangerous big dog pulling on a leash. Um, dog training mistake I see all the time. So you can definitely see that one's good. And you don't always have to, again, copy these. Like worst thing about the Rottweiler. You might not want to do a video on this if you're really focused on just training. Um, you might want to, you might not. But what I'm saying here is you want to keep an open mind. You don't have to just blind, blindly follow everything everyone else is doing. You simply want to find the best ideas that are working for this person that could work for your business. And that's how you want to approach shorts. All right, so shorts are, is still really new. Like they're really... Even though YouTube has had them for maybe over a year, they've really started just implementing more like, oh, now you have a separate tab for shorts. If you go in your YouTube analytics, you have certain stats, separate stats for shorts versus your long videos. So YouTube's really trying to separate shorts from the long videos. I think they want to be a platform that has both. And I think the idea here is to use shorts to increase your reach. Because shorts um, can get videos quicker if you're starting from scratch. So you use shorts to expand reach quicker. And then those people that see your videos and subscribe from your shorts can watch your long content. So it's kind of a way to get people in and then get them to watch longer form content. So you want to be consistent with shorts. You want to be consistent with long form videos. Which it might require you to do a little bit extra research, but it's worth it. And also keep in mind... You can test shorts because shorts are just so new, at least YouTube's really pushing them now more than ever, is all the research we did before for the long videos, think about how you can turn those into short videos. Because essentially, we know what people are searching on YouTube for. So even if you create those videos as shorts, YouTube can serve th those videos to, the, to those people when they're searching or even before they're searching because YouTube's algorithm is getting so good, it knows what you want to watch before you want to watch it, which is why we have the suggested video algorithm. It's essentially YouTube telling you like, hey, you watch this, you'll probably like this. And now instead of you clicking on that video, now they're just going to throw it in your face with a short. So I say that to say, continue to do the research. And even though you want to have separate short research, you can also have use that long form content ideas as short content ideas as well. All right. So you should have endless content and then you can do the same thing the opposite way. Maybe you find one of your shorts does great dog training mistake. I see all the time. Let's say you do that video and shorts are videos. They have to be under 60 seconds and they have to be filmed vertically. So like with your cell phone, um, and let's say this video resonates with people with a short, then you might want to refilm that video as a long video, stretch the content out, give more insights on the, the topics that you touched on in the 60 second video, and maybe the long video will do well. And then you'll have this piggybacking thing where maybe YouTube will show people your short video. And then since you watch that video, it'll recommend, it'll suggest your other video when they start watching the long form content. So I know I hit you with a lot of stuff here, but you have access to this. Watch it over and over again. Watch it a few times if you need more clarity. Again, you can always contact me, Rocky at vidtrafficpro.com. If you have any questions, again, go to vidtrafficpro.com slash creator you. I have a free gift for you there. Join my email list where I give more tips, not just on YouTube, but how I grew on TikTok to over 500,000 followers um, and how I continue to run my online businesses. So thanks so much for being a part of my uh, Creator You course. I look forward to being able to help you some more in the future.